Hi, Sammy fam. Today we're going to be making a delicious Korean soup and sandwich. But first, I want you to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. We have way too many people watching who aren't subscribed. And I want to turn you all into repeat viewers so you can see all the delicious recipes and ideas we have to offer here. Thanks for tuning in. Let's get cooking. Today we are making a spicy Korean seasoned tomato soup with a chili crunch grilled cheese. So we're starting off with a bunch of onions, just kind of loosely chopped. Doesn't really matter that much because they're going to cook and they're eventually going to end up in a blender. Just get a big bowl of all our veggie ingredients ready. I love the flavor of bell pepper. I think it's gonna go great in this. Just remember to remove the sticker. It's something I have messed up before. Again, it doesn't really matter how you cut these too much because it's all gonna get blended up in the end. Carrot is gonna be our sweetness for the dish. Just speed this up a little bit because it's a bit tedious. Now this is a big carrot. I think I'm only going to use about like three-fourths of it. it. Just depends on how big the boys in your supermarket are. I find it's always safer to give yourself a flat side before you start chopping. That way it won't roll all over the place. I'm going to throw some garlic in here too. I like garlic a lot. Then we're using our Korean red pepper powder or gokujaru. About a tablespoon of sesame oil to start off our wet ingredients. This is our fish sauce. It's going to be a lot of the savory saltiness of the dish and then soy sauce as well. And a couple tablespoons of vegetable oil. I'm gonna get a nice big kick of flavor from our gokujang, a fermented chili paste. And of course, kimchi. This is gonna give you a lot of tang, a lot of fresh and earthy flavor. couple heaping tablespoons of kimchi. I'm gonna get some water heating up in the kettle. That'll be useful later. And then we start with our wet ingredients into a pan over medium heat. This is gonna instantly fill your whole house with a delicious spicy aroma. Let's add in all our veggies and our gokujaru powder. Stir that up and we just want to let these soften. Being this is a tomato soup, we are going to put a whole can of tomatoes in there, 28 ounce can. I like to use a potato masher to help me mash them up, but you got to be careful because if you're too emphatic, too forceful, you will spray it everywhere. Now let's pour in our hot water. Give that a nice stir. Let it all come together. After that simmered for a little bit, we're going to transfer it to our blender. Or if you are blessed with an immersion blender, you could use that. This is a bit of a pain, but I want to get that nice smooth texture. Oop, I had an accident. I overfilled my blender and I burned my hand when it sprayed all over me. So we're going to do take two and really seal that off with some paper. 
you know, 90 seconds to two minutes later, gets pretty nice and smooth. And we protected ourselves successfully this time. So we can transfer it back to the pot and just kind of leave it be. We're gonna add in some milk to add to the creaminess. You could use whole cream, but I'm using whole milk here because I'm gonna let this sit hot on top of the stove and reduce down a little bit as I make the grilled cheese to go along with our tomato soup. I'm using a peasant bread. I really like this bread alone. It's a delicious bakery. I just hate how they package the bread. I guess everyone packages it this way, but I have to flip the whole thing around in the plastic to get out the big slices I want for my sandwich. We're just using classic American cheese, perfect for a grilled cheese sandwich. I try to really arrange it nice so you get a good distribution in every bite. And I really like it to be extra cheesy. On the other side, we're gonna spread around our Momofuku Chili Crunch. If you can't find Momofuku, I think you have to order it offline but there are plenty of common chili crunches you'll be able to find in the Asian aisle in your grocery store or an Asian grocery if you're lucky enough. Cover the outside with some Kewpie mayo. If you don't have Kewpie, another mayo will do, but I prefer Kewpie. A little bit of butter in the pan. If you're using a nonstick pan like me though, the butter is not actually that necessary. My wife just got me this pan though for my birthday. This is one of my first times using it. I love it so much. Let's cover the other side with mayo now that it's side up. And once we're nice and toasty, oh, golden brown. Give it a flip and get our soup ready. The soup smells so good. And our grilled cheese is perfectly browned. Our cheese is so gooey. I love gooey American cheese. And the chili in there pairs so perfectly with that gooey dairy, you know, it balances. You have the spicy, you have some nice onion flavor in there, you have the crunch and then the gooey as well, and the crunchy bread, and then just dip it in the soup. Who needs a spoon? I'm just gonna do this. I might have to make another sandwich to continue dipping afterwards. That is the perfect pairing. The soup is warm. It's the perfect balance, again, of spicy and sweet. The carrot really comes through, and it balances the goku jaru and the goku jang and the kimchi tanginess. If you want to have some tomato soup, but you want to try something a little bit different, just let me recommend this. Please, give it a go. You're going to love it.